Hi, this is Gali Gopak. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about reducing symptoms of Parkinson's disease with diet and supplements. Now, doing the best to remain strong and healthy is essential, of course, for everyone, especially uh, but for hey, people who suffer from Parkinson's disease. Making certain lifestyle changes can help patients accomplish two important goals. Number one, to control their symptoms uh, better and to slow the disease's progression. Now, every year, 60,000 people are diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, and the causes and triggers that activate it are yet unknown, and the condition is still considered uncurable, unfortunately. Now, there are many symptoms that come with this disease, but eating a healthy diet uh, and uh, maintaining hydration levels will be very supportive. Otherwise, a person suffering from Parkinson's disease may experience one of the symptoms which will lower their quality of life in a major way. And these symptoms may include constipation. Many patients with Parkinson's disease experience constipation due to a slowdown of their digestive functioning. At its best, constipation is an annoyance. But at worst, the patient's intestines can become severely impacted, leading to a blockage in the intestines or a narrowing of the colon. The best way to combat constipation is to adopt a high fiber diet, rich in whole grains, whole fruits, not fruit juices, whole fruits, um, meaning it doesn't have to be with a peel, of course, but whole fruits, uh, raw or steamed vegetables, not um, uh, vegetables that are fried, and legumes and natural whole grain bread and cereals. Now, whole grains, breads that are made from sprouted grains are even better to deal, to help deal with constipation and with many other uh, symptoms that come with this disease because they are so rich in nutrients. I will get into that in just a minute. So the second symptom is also dehydration. Now the medications for Parkinson's disease often cause dehydration and it can also leave the person more tired, confused, weak, and can cause kidney problems. Now the best thing to do is of course to ensure that you are drinking enough water or unsweetened herbal teas throughout the day. Also there are medical issues. The most common drug for Parkinson's is levo levodopa. It is absorbed in the patient's small intestine, and the absorption can be disrupted if the medication is taken shortly after eating a high-protein meal that has meat in it. Now, the best thing to do to maximize the medication's effects is to eat, if you do eat animal proteins, then eat them separate, as far away as you can from the time that you take the medication. Another symptom is muscle cramping. Now, in Parkinson's, these cramps can be very painful and distressing. And eating foods with turmeric, uh, drinking sufficient water, as I said, uh, sufficient hydration, or consuming uh, supplements like magnesium citrate with B6, with vitamin B6, can be very helpful to prevent muscle spasms. Now, the food uh, that is advised for people suffering from Parkinson's is food that is rich in natural compounds, plant compounds like antioxidant vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals. All of these can prevent or delay or alleviate symptoms of Parkinson's disease by suppressing or reducing neuroinflammation and oxidative stress uh, from free radical formation, while also uh, reducing the extent of neurodegeneration. So, therefore, these natural compounds also uh, uh, lead to an increase in cognitive functions and, of course, brain health and general well-being. Now, these uh, natural compounds are rich in foods such as nuts, blueberries, also eggplants, all the, all the berries really, including goji berries, tomatoes, peppers, elderberries, spinach, kale, and certain spices. Also, fava beans. Let's talk about those. People with Parkinson's are encouraged to consume fava beans because they contain lev levodopa, which is the same uh, ingredient found in most drugs used to treat this disease. However, fava beans should be avoided by people who have the genetic disorder glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency, as these, uh, eating these beans may lead to hemolytic anemia. 
in these people but only these people who suffer from this genetic disorder and other people who have parkinson's disease can uh, should be encouraged to eat these beans now also omega-3 fatty acids uh, since neuroinflammation plays a very uh, major role in pathogenesis of parkinson's disease which leads to the neurodegeneration and uh, brain cell death then omega-3 fatty acids are very very beneficial they reduce free radical damage and decrease the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines now therefore foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids uh, can offer great protection for, and from disease progression as well as prevent typical secondary symptoms that include dementia and confusion now people uh, should be advised to eat foods that are rich in omega-3 fatty acids which include walnuts green leafy vegetables chia and flax seeds as well as soya and kidney beans also there are foods that are rich in melatonin melatonin has antioxidant properties and has been found to be very beneficial for people suffering from parkinson's disease now melatonin is naturally found in tart cherries oats walnuts and bananas so you want to increase these foods uh, if you are suffering from Parkinson's disease or know someone close to you who is suffering. Also curcumin. It is an excellent free radical scavenger and an anti-inflammatory and neuroprotective chemical. It is found in the turmeric spice. On the other hand, the foods that you want to avoid are foods that are rich in saturated fats and dairy products. So these foods are mainly animal place based products. These should be avoided or definitely reduced since they have been linked to the risk of developing Parkinson's disease as well as disease progression. These products negatively uh, impact the oxidation level in the brain, making symptoms persist or even worse. And this effect is stronger in men than in women. Sometimes supplementing with calcium can be helpful in this case. Now let's talk about other supplements that you wanna consider for Parkinson's. Coenzyme Q10 is a powerful antioxidant offering a lot of neuroprotection through the modulation of mitochondrial activity in brain cells. Also, vitamin D has been shown to be very protective against Parkinson's and its progression. So lots of fresh air and sunshine can help with the symptoms uh, or supplementing with vitamin D3, which inhibits oxidative stress uh, is very useful. Also, vitamin D3 uh, reduces free radical formation and decreases neurotoxicity. So this is absolutely wonderful for people suffering for, from uh, Parkinson's disease. It also reduces endothelial dysfunction, uh, which can offer neural protection for people with Parkinson's. Now, other uh, beneficial vitamins include the uh, B vitamin family, especially vitamin B3, niacin, which uh, reduces oxidative stress. Also, uh, vitamin C, an antioxidant that prevents lipid peroxidation and is also useful in regenerating other antioxidants. Also, vitamin E, uh, is very uh, supportive. It reduces free radical activity and toxicity levels. So to sum up, the treatment of Parkinson's with a healthy diet, rich in anti-inflammatory and neuroprotective nutrients will potentially reduce the symptoms of the disease and prevent further neurodegeneration. And now this is especially true with persistent commitment over time, over a long period of time for taking these supplements and uh, consuming a supportive diet. So meaning you can't do it just for one off, take these supplements, you will not see any uh, benefits, but if you do it over a longer period of time, definitely there will be um, a positive impact. 